Hey and welcome. So I'm going to show you how you do costings through Google. As you can see here, um, with margin, price, earnings, and so on, um, you can pretty much do it with anything: cakes, bagels, pizzas, you name it. One of the things that you have to do though is create an ingredients list of per gram, per hundred grams, per kg. To find out your kg, you can go on supermarkets for some things, and they show you the kg price for for what it is so let's close that the first thing you want to do is open google click on apps click on sheet click on blank sheet so let's name this costing this is going to be in ingredients let's try and do this nice and that's going to be per one gram, per hundred gram, and per one kg. So for me, I use a baker's flour, I use rye for my starter, I use salt, and I also use wholemeal in my loaves. So for me, I already know my prices, so it is $2 for my baker's per kg. For my rye, it is $3.83. For my salt, $1.115. And $2 for my whole meal. You can highlight them, change them into the money for format. So, this is where things could get tricky, but once you get the hang of it, it is very easy. So, to do this bit, you can create formulas. If you do the equal sign, it takes you into the formula. So you click on your two dollars, you do the slash, comment, whatever, which is divide, and then by a hundred. So that is that divided by hundred, and then you can do the same. Click on this, divide by a thousand can't see it you can do this there we go and you don't have to always do each individual one you see the difference it goes to the cross to the hand to the cross to the hand if you go on the cross and drag down it will do it for you and the great thing about this if your price is changed it will change the formulas so this is now let's say three dollars and it's changed again so that is the start of what you need to build So for the next one, we're going to create this and we're going to name this sourdough bread. Easy. Go into it and then we're going to try and make this nice and pretty. But obviously you can do it however you want, however you see fit. It took me a while to get used to it, but now that I'm used to it, it is pretty easy. So... Let's do this as our sourdough title. We're going to do price per gram. We're going to do quantity and then cost. And just like before, so I use baker's flour. I use rye for my starter. I use salt and I use wholemeal. I don't know how to work in the water because uh, I bake for my house, so yep. My quantities, oh, sorry, let's just change this, is 350 grams, 90 grams rye for my starter, 9 grams salt, and 90 grams of wholemeal as well. And let's just put it in there for the sake of it. And 350 grams water. So the next bit is fairly easy so to do this part you do the equals button and now you can go straight into your costing and it carries it on you see it's still there sometimes you have to move this down it can be a bit of a pain so equals go to my thing i do price per gram i do the same with the right equals go on this 
price per gram you have to do this individually you can't do it all it doesn't work that way suggestions don't always work so that's that and like i said if it changes it will change on this as well so for the costing we're going to do equals we're going to do price per gram and we're going to times it as the star with this one and enter it can suggest not always but yeah and then like i showed you before click on the cross you can pull it down so there are all the prices now per gram and like i said say if this changes to five dollars now it's changed it to this so it really does work it in which is really good and now we'll do the bottom part so we're going to do total cost we're going to do margin we're going to do price and we're going to do earnings so total cost let's do it as a red let's do the margins and the earnings as a green because money is always a green and yellow for price and then let's put these as a gray just to make it look nice so same again you do equal sign and then you type in sum you have to click on sum to do this and then you can drag them all so that is the price of all my ingredients added up of how much it costs to make one loaf i think it's 850 gram loaf as well so i want to charge six dollars that's my normal price for what i charge here in australia and then for th to do margin it's a little bit tricky but it's still pretty good so you want to do equals brackets we're going to do price minus cost close brackets divided by price there we go and then you click on percentage and there you go so for me that is 79 percent back and then for earnings you would do this minus the cost and there we go so for every single one i sell i get four dollars 76 back if like i said before it just changes and it's now six dollars per kg it already works it out works my cost everything and as it goes on you can just do this you can copy and you can paste and you can do other ones you can add in columns add in rows it's an amazing thing once you get hold of this because you're able to work stuff out with price so yeah that's that and i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it helps